Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my monthly favourites. I haven't done a monthly favourites in quite a long time, but I do want to start doing it every month or every few months just to let you guys know what products that I've been loving lately. Makeup, sometimes skincare and sometimes really, really kind of random things, but that's fine. So let's see what I've been loving. So firstly is this here, which is this lipstick. So I'm wearing it now. It's just like, ugh, it's just such a nice colour. It's just like a really, really pinky nude. And I just feel like, ugh, I don't know. I just, I've been loving it. It's really, really nourishing. I've noticed as I'm working in the lab that my lips have been dead dry. I don't know if it's because there's no air circulating. Like there's no windows and stuff. Um, but I, my lips used to be like really, really hardcore. Don't need lip balm, don't need anything, but like recently they've been kind of annoying. So I've been trying to steer away from liquid lipsticks. I don't wear a lipstick in work anyway, but when I come out of work and they're dry, I feel like sometimes when I put a, lipstick, a liquid lipstick on, it goes all kind of dry and cracked and not too nice. So I've been wearing this and I feel like the colour is really, really nice. I think it just looks really nice and healthy and I like it. And it's really, really nice for summer. And the main thing is it's really, really affordable. Um, so this is in number one, Desert Sand. And I'll go pick up another one because I've used quite a bit of it and I'm scared in case they discontinue. Everyone was raving all about this about a year or two ago and I kind of forgot about it. I kept saying, I'll get it, I'll get it. And I kind of forgot and then I picked it up and since then I've been using it for work. I have quite crap eyelashes, they're quite straight and like, it's quite annoying. But I like this because it's really, really black. It gives them a little bit of a kind of, what I've noticed with a lot of mascara is Put my mascara on, it looks quite good. Then I go out of the house, my eyelashes go back to being straight, they don't even look black and they just look crap. But this, I've noticed throughout the day, um, it just makes them look a little bit thicker, a little bit longer, which I do like. Plus, it doesn't go all the way down here, which a lot of mascaras do. Luckily, this one doesn't. So, that's good. <laughs> and also, it's affordable, as probably most of my stuff on this channel is affordable. So yeah, I would definitely run out and grab this ASAP. <laughs> right, next is this here, which is the Vitamin E Skincare Intense Moisture Cream. Um, it's the 24 hour moisturiser, rich in natural vitamin E, high in antioxidants, defends the skin against environmental damage, and it's for normal to dry skin. So I haven't used too much of this. Um, well, I've used a decent amount, but um, it just smells quite nice. It smells kind of like coconutty, like a bounty. I really like this for night time. It just gives my skin a lot of hydration. And for during the day, I use... I still use this bad boy, um, but I just feel like it got a little bit more. This is more of like a deep moisturiser. And this is one good for under makeup. But yeah, really, really liking it. And what am I going to say? It's affordable. It is from the Superdrug Vitamin E range. So yeah, they usually do like three for two as well. So sometimes you can get like three of these products for under £15. I've got quite a few of them. I've got the Hydrating Mist, I've got the Micellar Water, I've got the Vitamin E Oil. Um, this. So quite a lot. I do really like it. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up if you're in Superdrug. Just a really good affordable range. And quite a lot of people like it, including more. Right, next is this here which is just the Urimel Stay Match Powder so I had this quite a while ago and then I kind of forgot about it just really good for like everyday makeup when you're going to work and stuff so I get colour 001 transparent and it's just a really good powder a lot of powders aren't pale enough for my pale ass but this one is really good actually it's a little bit darker than me but it just goes on really really nice I'm wearing it right now and it mattifies my skin but it doesn't make it really really dry like a lot of powders do so yeah that's my monthly favourites guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye